Ikaw babe, kasing ka pa? Gusto lang sana ako sabihin. Nakarang araw kasi nung naglalakad ako papuntang mall, may kakaibang nangyari. Alam mo yun, yung malapit na ako sa mall, sabay, itlang tinamaan ako ng kitlat. Tahi na gulit ako. And yung malapit dun, pagkagising ko, bigla ko na lang na-realize at napag-isip-isip na what if I should start making vlogs? You know, yung tayo-tayo lang. Or kung sino pwedeng isama. O siya, siya, siya. Kita kasi mamaya. Show me the sign if you're down for the game. Don't fuck with the game, we all fuck with the tech Uh, uh, we be busting the clubs Cause you know that we can't Uh, uh, don't fuck with the game We all fuck with the tech Uh, uh, still rockin' the show Still feelin' the flow Start na ba? Parang ang layo eh Wow! Yeah, mas okay And welcome to our first vlog ever My name is Miko And this is my girl, Darlene. So, bibigyan namin kayo ng 5 tips para mas type up ang pagkuha nyo ng photos. Yes, we are not pro. But we'll ensure na lahat na sasabihin namin sa inyo ay makakatulong at pwede rin nyo nang i-share sa inyong mga friends. A few months earlier, I started posting photos online. And surprisingly, people gave me positive feedbacks about it. So, these tips na i-share namin sa inyo ay mga rules and guidelines na kadalasan ginagamit ko kapag nag-shoot ng photos. Though for me, there's no right or wrong way to take a photo. It all depends on you. You just have to be creative and follow some rules and guidelines to take your photos to the next level. So without further ado, let's get started. Tip number one, angles. So before you push that button, why not take five extra seconds to think about your own self? Where angle is the best angle? Objects or people may look cool or different. Maybe you have a waist level. Or you can also try your low angle. Or try your left angle. Try mo sa kaliwa, try mo sa kanan. Just take 5 to 10 extra seconds and find that best angle that you're looking for. And take note that different angles can bring different moods in your photos. Tip number 2 is composition. So first of all, use your grids. Open your settings, open the camera tab, and set your grids to on. Grids are not only useful for basic compositioning like the rule of thirds, but it is also useful kapag nashoot ka sa dagat or may background ka na horizontal line. For the rule of thirds, ito yung rule wherein you will place your subject or point of interest sa grids intersections. Rule of thirds is also important in creating and controlling sense of motion. Leading lines. No more distracting lines. Use them to lead the audience eye into your subject. Symmetry. Symmetrical photos are pleasing to the eyes. They have some sort of balance kung saan mas na-emphasize at mas nagkakaroon ng appeal yung subject. Another one is contrast. I think almost lahat naman siguro tayo is alam yung silhouettes, right? Silhouettes ay isa sa mga perfect example of using contrast in a photo. Contrast is yung difference between the luminosity and color ng subject sa background. Knowing how to use contrast will help you create eye-catching images. That's why almost lahat ng photographers ay ginagamit yung technique na to para mas madraw yung attention ng viewers dun sa subject. Tip number 3, lighting. Lighting is so important. Of course, when your subject's not lit well, no one can see it, right? For those who doesn't have expensive lighting setups, napaka-easy lang ang solusyon dyan. Just use natural light. There are three things na pwede mong gawin kapag nasushoot ka using natural light. You can do backlit shot, wherein yung sun is nasa likod ng subject. Number two is direct sunlight. For the word itself, yun yung shot wherein yung araw is tumatama directly sa yung subject. One disadvantage of using direct sunlight shot is that your photo will have blown out highlights. Number 3 is yung shade shot or yung nakasilong. Obviously, shade shots ay ginagamit indoors pero pwede rin outdoors kapag yung araw ay natakpan ng puno or ng buildings. Though for me, there's no right or wrong way in shooting in different kinds of light. Personally, I shoot most of my photos between 5.30 to 6.15 in the afternoon which is the golden hour. No harsh lights and you can produce reddish or pinkish skies. And if you're brave enough, why not try night photography? Just always remember to place your subjects wherein maraming ambient lights, whether in indoors or sa tabi ng kasada. Tip number four is finding your inspiration. Always learn from people who are better than you. They are everywhere. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Ako, whenever I see people who are better than me, 
or kapag binakita ko kakaiba sa work nila, namamotivate ako since naisip ko agad na magkakaroon ako ng bagong learning. Siyempre, andyan yung quote na kapag kaya ng iba, kaya mo rin. Not by your gears, but siyempre, by your skills. Though, hindi siya instant, that's why nandyan yung mga YouTube tutorials, and yung mga find your inspiration in Instagram. There are a lot of photographers and Instagram pages na marami akong natunan. Like Brandon Wofel, Alex Miller, Master Shots, and Portraits Amazing. Ang ginagawa ko lang is to look at their page whenever I want to learn a new skill. Then practice how they shoot and edit their photos since naglalagay sila ng mga before and afters and behind the scenes ng mga shoots nila. It's like visual exercise na kapag sinanay mo yung sarili mo na nakakita ng mga ng photos, ay ma-apply mo rin sa sarili mo when you have enough practice. Don't always rely on yourself, and always remember na meron mas better sa'yo, and make them as your inspiration to make yourself better. In editing photos, there's no rule. Whether you just want to apply a filter, or just do some basic lighting adjustments, which is the most common na ginagawa kapag nag edit the most common question na madalas kong nare-receive is what app or editing software do I use? Personally, I use Adobe products which is uh, Photoshop and Adobe Lightroom na magagamit mo lang if nasa Mac ka or sa Windows. Mix, what if I don't have laptop or computer? Well, there are several products na ginagamit ko if nag-edit ako sa phone. For filters, I use VSEO. For basic lighting and color adjustments, I use Lightroom Mobile. For more filters, I use Afterlight. And for compositing, I use Pixart Mobile. Though, if you're using filters or presets, may mga photo na bagay yung gantong filter, bagay yung gantong presets, pero sa ibang photo, hindi naman binabagayan. That's why, always remember that every photo is different. And you have to edit them, depends on what look you want to achieve, and color palette you want to use. And para saan ba yung photo? So that for a wedding, birthday ng baby, street photography, food photography, or landscape. That's why every photo is different. Kaya before you edit them, isipin mo muna kung para saan mo magamitin. And after that, you can decide kung paano mo siya i-edit. Sa akin, I edit my photos in Photoshop starting from zero. Pero sa ngayon, I want into the process. But, abangin nyo na lang sa next vlogs. Hello babe! Sorry ko na patawag. I know, medyo busy ka ngayon. Pero, I just wanna say na nakalimutan natin mag-shoot ng outro for the vlog. But, never mind. I just wanna tell them na thank you for watching our vlog and if you want more of these videos, you can subscribe to our channel. And see you next week!